questions. This is your last Prime Minister's questions. And as befits a distinguished former Wimbledon competitor, you have sat up there in your high chair, and not just as an umpire, uh, ruthlessly adjudicating on the finer points of parliamentary procedure with your trademark Tony Montana scowl, uh, Mr Speaker. <laughs> not just as a commentator, offering your own opinions on the rallies you are watching, sometimes acerbic and sometimes kindly, but above all as a player in your own right peppering every part of the chamber with your own thoughts and opinions, like some tennis ball machine, some uncontrollable tennis ball machine, Mr Speaker, <laughs> delivering a series of literally unplayable, unreturnable, formerly unreturnable uh, volleys and smashes. And although we may disagree about some of the legislative innovations that you have favoured, <laughs> there is no doubt in my mind that you have been a great servant of this Parliament and of this House of Commons. Uh, you have modernised, you have widened access, to, you have cared for the needs of those with disabilities, and you have cared so deeply for the rights of backbenchers that you have done more than anyone since Stephen Hawking to stretch time in this particular <laughs> session. And as we come to the end of what must be the longest retirement since Frank Sinatra, uh, Mr <laughs> Speaker, I'm sure the whole House will want to join me in thanking you and, w and hoping that you enjoy in your retirement the soothing medicament uh, that you have so often prescribed uh, for the rest of us. You've done so much to reform this House of Commons, and our democracy is the stronger for the way that you've done it. You have served for 10 years. You've given real power to backbenchers, vastly expanded the use of urgent questions, which has been overwhelmingly popular with all government ministers, and uh, <laughs> opened up the number of emergency debates, which is even more popular with even more government ministers. And in the traditions of the great Speaker Lenthal and others, you've stood up for Parliament when it has to be stood up for. And I think we thank you for that. Because you've also carried that message internationally as well in the role of parliamentary democracy and parliaments holding governments to account. And as we hope to form a government in the future, we hope to be held to account by parliament as well. Thank you, Mr Speaker. And can I, on behalf of those of us on these benches, wish you all the best for your impending retirement and salute you, sir, for the way that you have stood up for the democracy of this House in order that at this time of crisis that we've held the government to account. We trust that you enjoy your many passions in retirement. You'll always be welcome up in Scotland. And if you need to visit a football team as an antidote to Arsenal, no. you'll always be welcome no. at Easter Road to no. see the <laughs> mighty Hibernian. And, and let, let, me, let me, Mr Speaker, let me, Mr Speaker, wish England all the best for the rugby on Saturday. And from the Liberal Democrat benches, can we wish you well and congratulate you on a decade, particularly as a modernising speaker. From topicality of debates to promoting diversity within the staff of the House to reforms to support parents who are MPs, you have helped to drag this institution out of the past so that it can face the future. We proceed with a number of statements that need to be made. I would like to thank the Prime Minister and colleagues for their kind and generous personal remarks, which are greatly appreciated. I want to thank staff of mine, past and present, who have given of their time to be here today for the last Prime Minister's question that I chair. All of them are people who have worked with me for a significant period of time. We have had fantastic relations and a terrific bond, and I hugely appreciate the fact that they have bothered to turn up on this occasion. And in particular, again, I want to thank my wife, Savvy, and our three children, Oliver, Freddie, and Jemima, for the support, stoicism, and fortitude which they have displayed through thick and thin over the last decade. I will never forget it, and I will always be grateful for it. Yeah.